The One Man Timber Hauler. I think I just came up with that name. So listen, I'm all about learning how to maximize the use of our equipment in every means. And today I wanted to share with everybody a way that we can use our heavy duty rope we carry with us to move larger timber around. Now this technique you may never use, but it's another tool for the toolbox type of thing. It doesn't work in every single circumstance. It does have its limitations, but there are times that it can work very, very well. And I'm gonna show you that right now with this ash tree that's behind me. So I have this downed ash tree and I'm needing to move this because I'm gonna totally move it to another section, but I'm by myself and there's just no way I can pick this up and move it. And it's in amongst trees, so I need to be able to pivot it and roll it. And until I get it to a spot that I can just roll it down a hill, it's not gonna go anywhere. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna start out by taking out my big hanker rope and identifying what direction, of course, I wanna go. Now we're gonna head in this direction, which you'll see in a second, and there's a tree not too far away, just about an arm's length away from me. So we're gonna need that because that's the first step of the process. So I'm gonna take my 25 foot piece of rope and I doubled it over and I'm gonna put it around the tree. So I'm just gonna pull that through so it's evened out along this tree. Now you want this about knee height. You can go a little bit shorter. It's not gonna hurt the project at all. Now we're gonna come up to our tree and we're gonna go under and over our tree with both sides. The wider the split on this, the better, but you can get this pretty close if you don't have a lot of rope. So in my case, this is really easy to go under this way and pull that tight. But this side is sort of bunched up because it's against another big timber. So I'm gonna have to find a way through here to get this under. We'll pull that one through. So you can see, at this point now, I created a simple machine for myself to work with. So now, I'm gonna put my body against this tree and start to pull, and it's going to help me pull this log forward towards me. So two things you can do here. You can either just get this around your waist and start to chug forward, like this. And you can see, now I'm starting to roll this away in the direction I need. So I would continue that process to get the tree moving in the direction I would want. What you really need to think about is ultimately where the tree's going, what side you wanna pull. So you're gonna need to work side to side possibly, or dead center if you just need to pull it straight ahead. So one thing that you're always gonna run into is as you pull, you're gonna run into the tree in which you're pulling off of. So it's always best to work off of one side. So I'm gonna pull that side and then push the log up that way and then pull it. So it's a lot of work to get that lumber moved, but other Otherwise, I really have no way to do that by myself. So hopefully you can see there that it's actually reasonable to move a large timber around with just one man and some rope. It just takes a little ingenuity and a little bit of thinking on your end how to maneuver it around to get it out of a sticky situation. Again, this is not a technique for everybody. It's not a technique for every situation. You can put this on a tree and go to pull and it just it's just stuck there. It's not gonna work too well. But it's another tool for the toolbox. It's something to think about. It's something to try if you get in that situation you might need to do this. So this was Dan Wolwak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.